As usual, many thanks to my awesome patrons and all of my fine tool partners. And now introducing our newest supporter, Groove Life Silicone Rings. Without the support of all you, I couldn't do this, so thank you very much. So now I'm gonna show you guys something that you've never seen before on this channel, and that is how to make spears. We're basically gonna turn SketchUp into a lathe. So stick with me if this is your first time here. I want to welcome you. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you like videos like this or build videos uh, like some of the ones that I have on my channel. I post something each and every week and hit that bell notification. It'll tell you anytime that I post new content. All right, so making a spear is not exactly a complicated thing to do. I mean, if you weren't real versed in SketchUp, uh, it might be difficult, but I'm gonna break it down really fast and really easy and you can actually create this in under a minute. So let's go ahead and break it down. All right, so we're going to start right here at the origin, and I'm just going to make an arbitrary circle. Yeah, if you have measurements in mind, go ahead and make them, but this is just going to be a demonstration, so I don't necessarily need measurements. So this is a two-dimensional circle. We're not going to push or pull this. It's just going to be used as a guide. Now I'm going to turn on my line function and I'm going to draw in the direction of the blue axis an arbitrary line. It's right about there. So now I need to establish um, how big I want my circle to be. So using that line, I'm going to use the two point arc function and I'm going to click at the top of the line and the bottom of the line. Then moving my cursor along the red axis line you'll see that it'll extend a half of a circle. So there's something that I want to point out down at the bottom of the screen. If you notice the second sen sentence, it says use option plus or option minus to change the number of segments. Now I'm going to do that and I'm first going to do the minus. So I want you to see how the segments change if you look on the half circle of my uh, demonstration here. If you notice, the sides get bigger and bigger. So you can make a different kind of sphere just by adding or de detracting or <laughs> subtracting segments. So it can be as smooth or as rough as you want it to be or as segmented as you want it to be. So the more that I take away, it can be a triangle on up to as many different segmented shapes as you want. Now, if you want this to be as smooth as possible, just keep adding pluses until it is smooth as you would like it to be. So I've still got my finger on it and it's still going. So I'm just gonna call it right there and drop it right at the edge of where the circle that I made first ends. So now I have half or quarter or <laughs> whatever you want to call it I have a two-dimensional semicircle made centered right over my guide circle so now the way a sphere is created is using the follow me tool so you first need to highlight what direction you want your semicircle to follow and that is what this guide circle is for we didn't have to make this first it was just easier to do so just by highlighting that full circle down at the bottom that tells the follow me tool you want it to follow that direction. So without doing anything else but clicking on the F, which is for follow me, or the uh, follow me tool right up here at the very top of the screen, hover over the area. Now you'll notice the full circle that you just clicked a minute ago is now unhighlighted. That's okay. Don't worry about re-clicking on it. Then just click on the semicircle face and it will follow that pathway of the circle. And you can delete your path circle right below it. So now that is a quick and easy way to make a sphere. But one thing I want you to notice, if you look at the top, it looks slightly divoted. And I did this on purpose because you, like I said, I was making an arbitrary number. So the distance that I have on this circle in diameter is 1809 and 164. And the guideline that I had 
1568 and 6164. So this line is shorter than the diameter of my circle, which caused the indentation at the top. So in order to make that correct, you have to make your line the same as your circle. So let's get rid of my line and we'll double check our measurement one more time. 1809 and 164. So we'll start that right here and I'll just type in 1809 and 164 at the bottom of my screen. So now this line is the same diameter as my guide circle. So now I should not have a problem with indentation. So we'll come here and here and go out to here. Now the number of segments uh, didn't change. It's still keeping that setting so I just need to drop it. Click on the guide circle, turn on the follow me tool and hit that surface. And if you notice at the top there is no evidence of indentation. That is because the guide circle is the exact same. So I'm going to, going to do something a little different and let's make this much longer. Let's call it say 2300, okay? This is going to make it kind of like a football shape. It won't be super obvious, but it will have that appearance. So there, almost like an egg shape, I'll give you that. So just depending on how you do your line with regards to your guide circle is how it's going to appear. So let's do something even different, more different than what we've been working with. I'm gonna make a small circle and a long line and do the exact same thing. I mean, you kind of get the idea of what I'm what I'm working with here. So there you go. That's almost like a Christmas tree ornament. So it's pretty cool the things that you can uh, make using the Follow Me tool as long as you have uh, a guide circle to tell where the Follow Me tool needs to go. So as you can see, with just a little bit of practice and um, a little bit of know-how on how the insides and outsides of SketchUp works, you can actually make all different kinds of shapes. Uh, that your mind can make up. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and check out all of my other build videos and SketchUp tutorials that you'll find right over there. Click that subscribe circle you see in the center to make it easier on yourself. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Boom!